Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 16 to 18 of Bangamans. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 16 in 3, 2, 1, go. Those boys. So, or you can record it. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh-huh. I mean, because, come on, we might see you, like, fangirl over your future girlfriend slash wife, much at all. Yeah, Kaya is definitely... Also, watching this makes me even more excited for, I think it's called, the other series of the, no Platinum's in, I believe? Because, yeah, she, your girl is so excited to see that, like, oh my god. <laughs> I know that was completely random, and I'm sorry, but, like, uh, as someone who really loves the work of these two, like, ah. Uh That's probably the only time you'll see me fangirl. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, good thing I haven't read the manga for that because you know, don't want to know anything yet. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, like Tifa or Aerith. You know, hmm. Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts, kind of. It depends. Because, you know, everybody likes her. But don't like what Nomura did with her. But, you know. Remind. Is that supposed to now be an Easter egg? <laughs> I, I mean, maybe. Oh. 
Now, is that like a little synopsis of possibly what's going to happen to Platinum then? Maybe. What's up? And you want them to submit something? Okay. Do you want her or him to wear a halo on their head? I mean, that's a little too obvious, but... Of course. Right. I mean, it almost seems like he has a little more confidence than you do. You know, you kind of wish. I mean, even though, yes, this is Asia's apartment, you kind of wish he had, like, headphones. Mm. Mm. 
natural. I have no idea what this is a reference to, but I love it. Of course, the girlfriend inspires the... <laughs> No, it's probably Kaya. Hmm? Yes. At least we know his tears are genuine and are like <coughs> white. <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> 
baby. Hey, but that's a good start, though. I mean, think about all the greatest writers, even now for modern day. They all start by writing fanfics. I need to know the name of this song. Like, oh my god, this song right here, too good. I've heard it a couple of them here several times, and I still want to know the name of it. It's like What's His Face all over again, where I was like, what's the name of this song? <laughs> Maybe you should go on a date with her and talk to her about stuff. <laughs> Aww. 
Sometimes you're going to need a break. That happens to all of us. Yeah, but you can balance. It's multitasking. Mm -hmm. Besides, maybe he just really needs this break. Writer's block is the hardest thing for anyone. It's the same thing with burnout. No! If they break up! I need a moment, oh my god, Jesus Christ, oh my god, that was so cute, like, oh, as the one who just finished Twin Star, and then going from that, and, like, and again, oh my god, like, ah. oh, that was so cute. I just hope we're much you know, taking this assistant job. It really helps though. But that kiss. That kiss. <gasps> Oh god, the feels, like, oh my god, like, see, when I look at both Kaya and, and, and Akito, like, straight up, number one, no matter what, I'm, I'm getting, like, the light in the Mesa feels, if, big if, 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 light wasn't an asshole, <laughs> because we all know 
light didn't give a shit about Visa. No matter how many times I rewatched Death Note, and then you know you have my mom on the side watching Death Note with me, and my mom will talk the absolute crap about Misa and say she's annoying, and I'm like, <laughs> she's only doing it because she loves it, but of course she's blinded by love and just like that, just you know, just much as most of us girls, because you know sometimes when we really truly love someone, we are blind by the love so much that we don't realize how much of an a hole some guys can be. Not all guys, but some guys. I'm just saying that. But like, ah, my God, baby. Oh, but like the fact is, I really think this is going to work out for them. I, I get the fact is that first, like Akito was not wanting to agree or possibly even call Mashiro. I'm being like, okay, yeah, she used to be possibly an assistant for AG, but even when Kaya said, like, "Am I in the way?" It's just like that hurt. And I get the fact of writer's block. That's the same thing as burnout or anything else. I mean, especially, you know, as someone who, um, I think th there's been a couple times where, like, I, I have somewhat very, very close gotten into burnout out of doing this from 2016 up until now. And, um, sometimes I've had to take a step back, which could be, like, a day, a week, or, like, just the recent vacation that I had a couple of weeks ago where I took just, like, three days off and then that Monday I was back to doing everything and I had to get back into that schedule and everything and so I think you know Akito he needs time right now he can't think of anything and that is the most hardest and saddest thing as a writer when you can't think of what you want to write as someone who used to also write fanfics um for, <laughs> uh, for a um <laughs> um a real life somewhat couple that you know we just shipped them together because they were just cute together um up until I think there was a moment in time where I just could not write anything else for it and even till today I still get likes and comments and sometimes anything else in between on when I would possibly continue the series and as of right now I don't think I ever will because sometimes like in the moment you kind of already know how you want the beginning middle and end to go and such but then when you are pa past that first book and you're getting on to like the second the third the fourth the 20th book in a series it's a little bit hard because especially you have to go back and answer things that, you know, didn't get answered in that first book. Look at any type of light novel, um, manga, any type of, like, literature and such and see. That's the same thing if you go from a literature to a freaking series of a movie, TV show, whatever, because you're like, okay, how in the world are they going to answer questions from that were supposed to be an uh, answered umpteen seasons ago or whatever and sometimes they can or cannot answer that like one of my favorite shows um because i dropped it like after like season four and i'm now like watching it to see how the show ended from what i had found out when this show ended in 2017 um the screenwriter slash executive producer of the show she did a 30 minute interview explaining so many things that fans wanted to get answered and a lot of people still will say will say to even till today that the 30 minute interview was technically half ass because she kept making up ish as she was going along and some people will say including myself that if it's if you have to make a 30 minute to an hour and 30 minute interview on whatever the heck you did for seven freaking seasons that's when you know maybe you should have ended the show years ago but <laughs> now someone else is doing this stuff for that show and who knows how the hell that, that's gonna go but yeah that's my little like extra thing for the day but like yes that kiss is so cute <laughs> show like oh my god precious baby like oh she's doing so good i'm so proud but uh, it's just it, it's time in a way for mashiro to really truly shine a little bit without akito and yes i'm super sad about that but i think this will be a really good opportunity for the both of them to really like 
um, take a little break, build themselves back up, their confidence and everything, and come back as a team and be better than ever. But <laughs> we ain't gonna know until the next episode. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 17. <laughs> okay, episode 17 in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Peace. Mm, sorry, I'm laughing at myself. I did something very silly. <laughs> I mean, you know, you could visit her if you wanted to. It's okay, it's like a rock concert. We got this. <laughs> uh, I don't think he's gonna hear all over the music, but okay. Okay, hold on. When was the last time he ate, though? And you are? Oh. Uh. Oh. We're going to talk about how fine he is, because, oh, <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> okay, hold on. His say you, if it's who I think it is. I just finished the show with him, and if it's him, oh God, I swear to God.
Oh, he is so cocky, and I like that. Oh, <laughs> Because if, if that is his say you, because of course he plays cocky bastards and yeah, I fall in the love with every single cocky bastard he is playing. Because he might get too distracted. True. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, but he thought it would be a good opportunity. <laughs> yeah. And he has a little bit of a writer's block. I think so. It is,
Shut up, stomach. I know I'm hungry. Oh my god. Not only youth, it's just the passion. <laughs> Yeah, he was right about that. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You're going to break the crap out of that shit. Oh, God. <sighs> huh? <laughs> so? Good. Yeah, and they'll always be a team, no matter what. Awesome. He's so hot. Just mm -hmm. oh, that sounds so good. Mm -hmm. Hell, I don't even know. I think I'm gonna eat a hamburger after I'm done recording all this. Well, not really a veggie burger, black bean burger. Oh, is that Wendy's black bean burger? What it sounds so good right now. Thank God, because I mean, you know. Don't be. Hmm. 
Maybe. Got colder in here. Oh, my thigh. <laughs> and you've been sitting in a chair for four fucking hours. Let's hope so. I really, truly hope that he learned something really good to come back to him. That's like, baby, like, the fact is that he, he probably wrote a lot, typed a lot on that computer. You know how when you have to write, like, an essay that's probably, like, a thousand words or more, he probably wrote, like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I remember one time I, um, I did this really interesting essay for high school. I think my high school music teacher, um... And she told me, she was like, you can do it as many words as you want to. <laughs> I wrote a good five pages. <laughs> a good five pages on my favorite band. <laughs> it's because I was like, boom. You want to know everything about them? Here's everything to know. Up to like, not really everything that's currently going on with them now. But at the time when I was in high school. And when they still had a group of five people. And such for the other two left. And yeah, what's really good. But like, oh my god. Once again, Fukura is... Oh god. Okay. Fukura is literally gray from Fairy Tale and Archer together from the Fate series. Because it's like, oh, if, like I said once again, if that is his seiyu. If that is his seiyu. Like, oh my god. <sighs> Huh, like, you already know how I'm gonna feel about him, because, oh my god. <laughs> but you do have to feel bad for the person who is the oldest, and the fact is that he is an assistant, and he is 33. And sometimes when you get into your... As someone who is in their mid twenties, or someone who who could be in their like early thirties, mid thir uh mid thirties, forties, whatever, and situations happen and such, and you are like, you want something to happen, and then it doesn't ha or it, it the thing that you want doesn't go your way and such, and you're kind of stuck, and the fact that he told Mashiro like you know whatever you do, don't get stuck into doing this for the rest of your life because you know there's going to be one day where you're going to regret it and you're going to regret it hard and such and that's just life 
it, it happens for all of us no matter what we do you know we think we're on like a really um good path for what we want to do as a career and the next thing you know we have like this weird out of body experience moment an epiphany or some uh, epiphany epiphany there we go um something that feels like time has stopped and you're just like what the fuck am i doing with my life and such as someone who wants to be like not only a japanese interpreter but to also um in a way be a journalist at the same time especially because of the fact is i like a lot of like pop culture things and such and you know your girl wants to travel and would love to work somewhere in japan because of course because your girl wants to be a japanese interpreter and it's like that and talk to you know japanese and you know do this is that and the third um it, it's a lot and so you want to strive for everything you want to be everything that you can be because one day you know you might be like damn what the fuck am i doing with the rest of my life and such and so <sighs> take it take it all and take it all the fucking the number one but take it day by day and really be the best that you can be no matter what because you never know what the fuck is gonna happen but <laughs> i'm glad ag apologized and stuff it's really sweet because i mean having these three to scold him when you know whether he's right on something or right or, or wrong on something is sweet you need somebody like that in your life to be brutally honest and tell you the cold hard truth because if if they're if they're not going to tell it to you then no one else will somebody will in, in the real world especially but they'll be a lot meaner than like friends families loved ones whoever who's really close to you even though uh, Fukuda is not that close to AG, but I, I, I mean, you know, mm, they, like him, AG, and Mosh, you know, like, they can all, you know, <laughs> relate to stuff and everything, which is so fucking adorable and such, but yeah, you just need someone in your life to really tell you that cold, hard truth that you really need or you've been wanting slash longing to hear, but that's all I really have to say, but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode, aka episode 18. <laughs> okay, episode 18 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> once again, I am so stupid. <sighs> Big ass fan girl I am. <laughs> At least it's something better than nothing, you know. You know when you're just right on something and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> you're like... <laughs> Now, how many shows have, have I heard this say you in? Like, too freaking many, but like, ah! Oh my god! Three of my favorite say you's in the same show together! <laughs> and then it's even worse because it's funny because when you think about freaking, um. Isekai Quartet! <laughs> We're also in Jujutsu Kaisen, so you know, we're just like, oh, I get the feels, and I can't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is what happens when you have favorite seiyus and you hear them all together, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> and then it's worse when you have a crush on them. But, <laughs> woo!
Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that kind of just reminds you, especially with the situation of bleach. And the I think it was the video that I watched, like, maybe about, like, a year ago, but uh, with Super Eye Patch Wolf. I, I mean, you know, he's just saying how he feels. Exactly. So don't get mad. True. Yeah, are you? <laughs> Aging. <laughs> Sir, how are you not falling off that chair? <laughs> Makes you wonder what he probably would have thought about you in the Haunted Hot Springs. <laughs> What's wrong?
<laughs> Are you going to sleep for 20 hours now? But damn, now I know how Futaba sleeps. Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now? I mean, like, shouldn't you just finish first and then you can officially quit?
<laughs> Good job, everyone! Confidence. <laughs> Are you miss Fukuda? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I mean... Yeah. She wanna spend time with you. <laughs> I call her Azuki for a moment. For baby. I'm so sorry. Ow. Four hundred carriage element. Oh pfft, that's easy. Mystery? Do you want a mystery novel? I mean manga?
Hmm. Ya. Mm-hmm. No way, this is their first show of five. Mm-hmm. Hell, I want you to be with Isaac E. too. That's why I'm gonna go on a day. <laughs> No, she's just trying to figure out an answer. Thank God it ain't like an iPhone where you know you can see someone type it. Well, right now we are really at a crossroads. Like, who knows? Oh, well, y'all know. Mm-hmm. People who watch this series, you know. You know what the fuck is about to go down. Me, I don't know what's going to happen. As much as I would really want Mashiro and Akito to continue working together, sometimes it is better for them to work apart. I mean, yes, with Akito, well, you know, technically with his, you know, quote-unquote girlfriend, even though he's not saying girlfriend, but, you know, he does like um, Kaya, and he is helping Kaya, and he is getting inspired again, and sometimes it does take a little bit, a little, a little longer time than other people, for people, it just depends, but I, I get the fact that Masha is like, okay, if he doesn't get something by this time, then I'm, I'm on my own, and sometimes you have to do that, you have to give someone an ultimatum or something like that, and it's not to be mean, or belittle them. It's because you love that person so much. And you care for that person so much. And you want to see them better themselves. And to make that first step. Or that right step with the person and such. But yeah. Hopefully this is a really good idea for them. And it works out for both of them. And then. <sighs> they're able to find each other again. That's all. Because I mean like. Do I ship these two? Kind of. They just sweet and they adorable and it's just like they they're for each other for their high, their highs and their lows. Oh. Okay, hold up. Time out. Time out. Wait. 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 Stop. Okay. <sighs> Mister Akira, were you about to? Get- Kaya a key or something? Aww. I mean, because, like, okay. The one thing that I like about Kaya and, and uh, um, I'm about to ask you, Kido's relationship is they, they are moving at a really interesting pace. It's not too fast, not too slow. Unlike with Mashiro and Azuki, because of the fact is, you know, they've made this deal with each other that once they get to you know their hopes and their dreams and their goals and everything you know they'll get married and it's like that but you still want to see these two like have moments with each other they have moments with each other like don't get me wrong it's more like through text messages you know officially as of now but before that you know you had the one freaking moment where they went to her house and you know proclaiming a love for her and such but like i really truly want to see these two Go on dates. I mean, like, as much as I love seeing, you know, 
I'm kind of cute because, like, yes, I do love them a lot because they're just so freaking cute together. And they got to kiss in the previous episode, and I'm just like, ah, and such. Because it's just like, oh my god, like, that's what you want in a relationship and everything. But when you are someone who is striving for your dreams and you also want to have a relationship at the same time, sometimes it's a little hard to mix, you know have a love in between trying to wanting to be the best that you can be it it it, uh, it works sometimes but not all the time sometimes it works for people and sometimes it doesn't sometimes you can possibly have your significant other as just like right now as a cheerleader this is that and the third and sometimes you can mix you know your business with your pleasure with your significant other and to still have your significant other be your cheerleader but um at the same time, it just doesn't work for other people. And it is sad because you really, truly want someone to share those moments with. And especially whether the highs, the lows, whatever, you know, because when someone's weak, you want that other person to step up for you. And that's kind of what Mashido's and, you know, Akito's relationship is, or technically partnership is. When one is a little bit stepped down and oppressed and weak, that is the time when the other person shines and rises up to the challenge and, you know, <laughs> the same way because that's how a partnership or a relationship or whatever goes and such. No matter what, even if you're just getting like, you know, because I didn't even know about that, especially, you know, when it is someone doing when it's two people doing a manga together that of course they're only going to get half they have to split the money no matter what 50 50 and such it's very similar to like some of the well one of my current still favorite reality tv show competitions where if it's a relationship of a couple and let's say they're not dating anymore and let's say they win this show okay it's like all right so if we win this and we win this money we are we're making a contract and this is how much I'm getting versus this is how much you're getting. So if I say, hey, I want 80% and you only getting like 20% or I'm like saying, hmm, I'll take 70 and you take 30. But we're, you know, we're agreeing to disagree. We're, we're trying to like come up with a solution on this, this, that, and the third. So hopefully this is really good for them. I mean, like, I pray and because the thing is they both were like awakened by the word mystery detective so something tells me that you know their their big thing their big shining beautiful moment that's possibly going to get them sterilized and everything is going to be something in mystery and such but i, I ain't mad at that as someone who really loves mysteries like ish like Mwah. didn't say qua like chef kiss let's fucking go but yeah other than that guys it is my reaction view towards episode 16 to 18 of bakuman if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next wednesday for everybody else for episodes 19 to 21 bye guys